Hello everybody, this is Jack from Tofluency.com and we are back with another conversation that is going to help you learn real English. Now today we are going to talk about... Valentine's Day and romance. Yeah, Valentine's Day and romance because we are filming this in February. Now, be sure to check out the description because I'll leave a list of the different phrases and vocabulary that we use in this lesson. And we're going to Try and speak at more or less our normal speed, and this will give you great listening practice. So, Valentine's Day. Can you tell everyone what Valentine's Day is? Um, Valentine's Day is February 14th of every year. Um, it's a holiday which is supposed to celebrate romantic love. Um, so the love between two partners. And it's, uh, it's a holiday where there's sometimes a lot of pressure um, mm -hmm. to do things a certain way, but it can also be quite fun. Um, and as we were talking about it, we realized that we had a lot of memories of Valentine's Day from growing up um, and yeah. what it was like to celebrate this holiday, which is really a romantic holiday um, in school when yeah. you're a child. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we had some good memories and some bad memories. Yes. I think we're only going to share the good memories um, and one of the big things is on Valentine's Day, one of the main things that people do is send and receive cards. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that, how you did that at school in America. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so basically the, the whole Valentine's Day celebration was everybody would buy or make cards for everybody in their class. And usually attach a little piece of candy. So oh, you candy would, as well. Mm -hmm, it Sorry. came with candy. So of course. usually um, the most popular ones were Hershey's Kisses. Yep. And Conversation Hearts. So both of these are types of chocolate. No. Well, Hershey's. Hershey's is. Right. Do you know what a Conversation Heart is? Oh, we call that something else. Is it one of those little round candy, like sweet things? with some kind of message on it. Yes. What did we call these? I'll leave this in the description. Mm -hmm. It's going to, I can't remember. But yeah, we used to have these as well. Absolutely. And they yeah. would say a little message like, um, fax me, which really dates. Oh, wow. <laughs> fax me. <laughs> send me a fax. Now it would be send me a snap. Yeah, it's yeah. probably like email me or um, Instagram me. Yeah. I don't know if that would fit on a little tiny candy. <laughs> I'm sure they'll fit it in. Yeah. Um, so you would attach those to the card uh -huh. and send them to one person, two people, ten? The the rule was really everybody in the class. Really? Mm-hmm. We didn't have that so, rule. Well, that was when we were younger. Okay. And then as you get older, um, it's less typical to give people valentines unless you are in a romantic relationship with them. Or you like someone, right? Yeah, or you like them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um I don't remember sending Valentine's Day cards to everyone in the class. No. But I do remember you would send a card to one person, basically, and mm -hmm. you would put from your secret admirer. Really? Yeah. So the idea is that you don't mm -hmm. tell people who the card is from. Right. A lot of the times, though, they would guess who it is. Oh, absolutely. You know, based on your handwriting. Uh-huh. Um, I remember because what, what you do is you give the card to a friend to give to them or you put it in their locker mm -hmm. or you put it on their desk so that they, that they don't know who it is. Um, but you could always write your name. Some people did write their name too. So, Jack. Yes. Be uh -oh. honest. Yeah. How many secret admirer Valentine's cards did you send? I used to send one, one, a, yeah, one every year. One every year? Yeah. Really? I think so. Sometimes I was in a, you know, a relationship when I was 12 or 13. <laughs> um, so mm -hmm. I would send a card to that person, obviously. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it was, yeah, sometimes I didn't send them. Sometimes but, you didn't, but no. most, most years you did. I think most years I did. And how often did you sign your name and how often were you a secret admirer? I can't remember. I remember receiving cards from secret admirers, uh -huh. plural, um, of course. <laughs> but I don't, I don't remember sending cards, sending, you know, from your secret admirer. Ever. Never. I can't really remember doing it. So no. you only gave one special girl a card every year. I think so. And you signed your name. Yeah. Because I was in a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, 
Do you think that there was, because I remember, especially once you got a little bit older, there was a lot of pressure to be in a relationship for Valentine's Day. That We didn't have that. No. I'm pretty sure we didn't have that. And it was nothing additional. I don't remember going on like a date mm -hmm. around Valentine's Day or making a big deal. Mm -hmm. Maybe we had presents too. I just can't remember. But yeah, I know in America though, dating mm -hmm. is big. And this is something that we didn't really understand growing up watching American TV. And it's mm -hmm. what we learned mm -hmm. from watching things like Friends and Dawson Creek, that dating is big. Mm -hmm. um, what is a typical thing that people do for a date on Valentine's Day? Um, well, it depends, obviously, on whether you're 12 or you're in your 40s, mm -hmm. or anywhere in between, let's or talk 50s, about, 60s, 70s, 80s. Let's talk about, you know, adults now. Adults, yeah. okay. Um, probably going to a nice restaurant mm -hmm. is typical, so what you would consider to be kind of a fancy meal where you would dress up. <laughs> yeah, we have um, our baby here, yes. by the way. You may hear her. She's very excited about us having this conversation. And she's trying to join in. Sorry, at yes, a restaurant. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Emma. No, she's not quiet. <laughs> so at a restaurant. You so go to a restaurant. You go to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, probably the most stereotypical romantic cuisines mm -hmm. are French cuisine. French, yeah. French, um, maybe Italian. Italian. Mm -hmm. And you would have a fancy meal with your loved one. Right. And... I imagine things are, it's very difficult to get into restaurants. On Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. Day. Yeah, absolutely. I think mm -hmm. you have to plan in advance. Yeah, book, book in advance, plan in advance and, you know, take initiative and say, okay, we're going to go to this restaurant, we're going to book it in early January mm -hmm. and we're going to go on Valentine's Day. I think it's different um, once you get married, but I know during mm -hmm. the dating stage, Yeah. There's a lot of pressure on the male in the relationship, if it's a male-female relationship, to book the restaurant and get the flowers. Yeah, and it's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. But in, yet I feel like it's generally not the men who care as much about Valentine's Day. Typically not. Typically I don't think not. So. Yeah. But they, yeah, I feel like they've got the pressure to do it. Uh -huh. And the woman expects something. Generally, yes. you know, in a, you know. Yes. Traditionally, mm -hmm. um, I've, jewelry, jewelry, chocolate, perfume, per perfume. I, I wouldn't get perfume. Yeah, perfume is a little know. bit personal, but I mean, I think that people do get it. Yeah, I feel like chocolate is always safe for me. <laughs> okay, in case you're wondering, <laughs> um, <laughs> I always love chocolate, um, and of, of course, jewelry. I've got a. I've got By the way, I'm just kidding. There's yeah, no pressure on Jack. <laughs> no pressure at all. I don't feel any pressure. Um, <laughs> I've got a question, though, about dating and relationships. Yes. If you say you're dating someone, mm -hmm. are you in a relationship? That's a good question. I feel like there's you're dating someone, and generally you're in a relationship where you have that conversation where you say that you want to be exclusive. Right, so okay. So you won't date other people. Okay, so when you, you can go on a first date mm -hmm. with somebody. Yes. And then if you go on a second and third date, mm -hmm. That's when you would start having a conversation about, okay, are we in a relationship? Yes. And I know, like with us, we were... I, yeah. We can't explain it. <laughs> there's there's <laughs> we no were, term that we, we can define We were traveling it. around the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we did have that conversation. We did. And after that, we were in a mm -hmm. relationship. And we were in a long distance relationship mm -hmm. because we weren't in the same place. Yeah. So we actually started in a long distance relationship... Uh -huh. before we, you know, spent time together in the same city. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Well, we'd, we'd met each other in person, which yeah. is oh, not yeah. always the case now. Well, that's it, because mm -hmm. things have changed. Yeah. Um, in the past, let's go back 20 years, mm -hmm. you would have to approach somebody mm -hmm. and ask them the question directly. Mm -hmm. Either meeting someone at a bar, meeting someone through a friend at a party. Mm-hmm. But now, obviously, online dating yeah. is a big thing. I think online dating is the way that most people meet their mm -hmm. their husbands and wives. Yeah. Now. Yeah, definitely. It's a huge change. Yeah. It really is. And it's just um, changed the way that people date and start relationships. Have you ever online 
dated. I have online dated, yeah. Uh -huh. When it wasn't very popular or common. Pro I think it was in 2005, mm -hmm. 2005, 2006, yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to, um, while well, I put my profile up there, you know, contacted people, went on a few dates, uh -huh. you know. Um, it was so fun. What information was on your profile? So oh, if I wow. had, if I had been looking on your <laughs> online profile, what would uh, I see? You would see a very young version of uh -huh. me with information about the music that I like. I was really into music back then. Okay. So, so I think I talked about that. What what bands did you put on your profile? Bob Dylan, Neil Young, Arctic Monkeys. Uh -huh. They're the three I always remember. Yeah. And then um I think there was like different questions that you could ask and answer. Mm -hmm. um, I can't really, sorry, I can't remember what I had on there, to be honest. <laughs> I probably you can't remember? Yeah, <laughs> I choose not to remember. Choose not to remember. Yeah. Well, based on your music profile, I think I would have wanted to go on a date with you. Well, yeah, I think music is one of the big things that people ask about first. You know, mm -hmm. What kind of music do you like? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Online date, it was fun, it worked, you know, worked okay, met some people, but obviously mm -hmm. I didn't get into any relationships from it. Right. Um, and then I went traveling. Mm -hmm. Then I met Kate. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I want to talk about date nights. Okay, yeah. Because a lot of people are thinking about having a date night for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. um, what are some typical date nights in America? We're back with Emma. Um, Kate, you were just saying... Date night. Date night and what kind of things that people do when they go on a date. Let's just talk about someone who is in a relationship or someone who is married. Mm -hmm. What kind of things do people like to do? Um, I think that probably some of the most popular things to do are to go see entertainment, mm -hmm. whether that's a movie in the cinema or a live band. Right, so or to, to go to a live show, to go to the cinema, mm -hmm, the theater, um, the theater maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, or to go out for a meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're the two main things, really. Yep. Or bowling. <laughs> That's yes. an old style. That's an old style date. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is, it was very popular, I guess, in the 80s. Yeah. Is that right? 70s, yeah, 80s? 70s, 80s. Yeah, to mm -hmm. go bowling. I think about Greece. Uh -huh. is, is it Greece one that they go bowling? I'm trying to remember. One of the Greeces, they do yeah. go bowling. Yeah. Anyway, that, that's what I have in my head when I'm thinking <laughs> about, you know, going bowling so in is America. So that, is that your ideal date? Bowling? Uh-huh. No. No. But, What's your, what is your oh, ideal date? My ideal date? date? I think it would be... What I really liked about Spain was when you could just go to a few bars and get a little mm -hmm. something to eat and then mm -hmm. a little tiny bit of wine and go somewhere else mm -hmm. and you experience different atmospheres and it feels like you're going on an adventure. Mm -hmm. Instead of going to one place and just sitting down for a big meal, mm -hmm. I like to be out and about and to go to small bars, to stand up, to go outside, you know, because then it feels like you've got some movement there right. and you can talk about different things, mm -hmm. you know. That's, that's what I enjoy doing. We, we have talked about doing that here. Yes. But we've just never got around to it. No. no. Well, not for a long time. Not for a long... Well, since we've had children, really. Yeah. Really. To go bar hopping, as uh -huh. it's called, or, you know, restaurant hopping. Yeah. It's really fun to do that, I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what about yourself? Ooh, what, mo what my ideal date is? Yeah. Um, I think With that me. With, well, <laughs> obviously. First of all, you are the main ingredient in my ideal date. I feel so. <laughs> yes, yeah. you are. Um, um, would be probably to go somewhere outside. If, if we're considering this as a long date. Mm -hmm. So maybe to go on a hike or oh, yeah. something like that. And then to just get a really casual meal and maybe see some live music. Yeah, live music. I think that's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To go to a concert. So you, a you've got that sense of going to a couple of places and movement too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just feel like if you're sitting down at the same restaurant for two, three hours, it mm -hmm. can get a little bit boring and, you know, it's good to have like different experiences and yeah. move around a lot. Or just delicious. Yeah. It just be delicious. 
It I like be. going to restaurants too. Okay, I'll but remember. I think that I think that when we think about you know what's the perfect date, <laughs> yes, that's more. You want to do something a little bit more exciting. Sometimes we are restricted for time, so we have to, you know, okay, mm-hmm. we've got an hour and a half. Go to the restaurant. Mm-hmm. You know, order yeah. quickly. Yes, um, absolutely, especially with an infant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought I could end with some love idioms that we yes. can share. Ooh. We can have a quick conversation about each one. I've got mm-hmm. three. First one is soulmate. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, do you believe in soulmates? I it's a big question. I would say that I didn't believe in soulmates, but then I know this is going to sound so cheesy, but mm-hmm. you kind of made me believe in soulmates because we just connected so immediately and it was such a coincidence that we even met we were from different continents yeah we weren't even supposed to be in the same place at the same time Mm -hmm. and we were and we met and we made a life yeah it's a great answer um yes do you believe in soulmates not really (laughs) i know i'm sorry um that's okay i haven't really thought too much about it Uh you know and really gone into depth with it but mm-hmm. I'm I feel it's more like there's a certain amount of people that you're compatible with right and if you meet that person mm-hmm. then you have to take advantage of it you know and do, make it work do you believe in the phrase opposites attract y- yes I think I do yeah mm-hmm. do um, you think that we're opposites in some ways I mean yeah there's a big difference, different countries. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. But there's some things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the idea of a soulmate is that there's one person for Only you. One Only person. one person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, when just after I met you, mm-hmm. um, you didn't meet this guy, a guy called Paul, who uh, stayed at the same hostel as us. Right. He was a mathematician. Uh-huh. And he talked about, he worked out that there's, I think it was... One in 100,000 women Mm -hmm. would be suitable for him. Wow. And that he would have to, like, meet so many people uh and go to specific places to increase the odds of meeting one of those people. (laughs) He he got married recently. Was he the kind of person that would have a lot of, of, um, I don't know, requirements to be... Yeah. (laughs) He was very picky. Very... Well, what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice guy, though. Um... Sure. I've got another one. To okay. have a crush on someone. Can you explain what that means? To have a crush <laughs> on someone. That's a good one. Um, so to have a crush on someone is to like them romantically. Yeah. Um, but a lot of times it's a, it's a secret crush. And it's before you really get into it. You can't yeah. say I have a crush on, you know, my wife yeah. or my husband. It's mm-hmm. like when you're not in a relationship with someone and you... Mm-hmm. And you know, you have like a crush them. on someone. Yeah. Yeah. So we always used to say like someone, like, but when you say it in a certain way, like you like someone. And you can also say, do you like like that person? Yes. You we know? used to say that too. Do you like like them or yeah. just like them? <laughs> so to like like someone means you have a crush on someone. Uh-huh. I really like that. Um, and then the final one, yeah. to go on a blind date. Oh, yeah. What, can you explain what that means? So a blind date is when you meet someone to go on a date and you have never seen them before in your life. Yeah. So it's somebody that a friend of a friend has set you up with mm-hmm. um, or maybe you met them online and you don't know kind of what they look like. You've never met them in person. Yeah. And so that's a blind date. I've never, ever been on a blind date. I haven't date. been on a blind date. No. 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 Um, well, good. I feel like a good question to ask everyone mm-hmm. is um, the soulmate question. Do you want yeah. to answer? Ask it. Do you want to ask? I, I want you to ask the questions in these videos. I know. Yeah. I like asking you questions. I feel like you have to answer me too when the camera's on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, do you believe in soulmates? That there is just one person out there who is meant to be for you? Mm-hmm. It's a great question. And, mm-hmm. um, yeah, feel free to expand on your answer. And let us know if you have any questions about the words and phrases we used here. We've got a lot mm-hmm. of things here, you know, to send cards, to get cards, secret admirers, to go on a date, date night. 
Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't talk about needing a babysitter. But, oh, no. Yes. You know, uh, soulmates, have a crush on someone and to go on a blind date. Mm-hmm. And once again, I'll leave vocabulary in the description so that you can read this and learn the words and phrases that we both use in this conversation. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.